Party! Alright folks, so here we are. Welcome to the final episode of Artie Plays Through Every Circuit in Mario Kart Wii CTGP. So we just got two circuits left, so we gotta make them count. And it is Mario Kart, so... Oh, yeah. Mario time! But what vehicle to play in? Um, uh, mm, that's a good question, actually. I was thinking about the Sprinter, but honestly, the Sprinter can be pretty unforgiving if the, some of the tracks aren't that well made. Same with the Super Blooper. Could be in the Classic Dragster, that's a decent cart. Or I could go Bikes. Honestly? No, you know what? I'm going Zip Zip. I think Zip Zip is a very underrated vehicle, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this for the second to last circuit. Mario, make me proud. All right. So now we're on to the second to last circuit, the Boomerang Cup. We've got Flomp Swamp, great name, Marble Towers, Sandstone Cliffs, and Koopa Shell Pipeland. Okay, four complete custom tracks as far as I can tell. This one is going to be uh, an interesting one. I can't wait. <laughs> Let's hope the last two circuits really bring it home. Flomp Swamp. I like it already. This looks pretty interesting. Of course, I love the rhyming name as well. That's pretty fantastic. Oh, right. <laughs> the flomp's just like, Arr! Can't wait. Oh, man. Maybe I should have been Shrek for this circuit. That's okay. All right, Mario. Don't let me down on the zip zip. Yes, I get to pump in my own music on this track, too. Right. This track doesn't seem like it's very zip zip friendly. What? Oh, that is terrible design. Are you kidding me? If you don't trick at that part, you just fall? That's so stupid. You can't do this. This is the final cup in the game or the second to final cup in the game this is the last video in the series you can't start it with that nonsense are you kidding me wow that was a long stretch about power ups too Left path way more forgiving if you're in the zip zip. Or like a harsh outside drift vehicle. I'm getting a little bit of a breakaway. Why Luigi on the tail though? Walla 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 Luigi. Walla 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 walla. Oh man, if it wasn't copyrighted, I would definitely pump an all-star in the background for this song. <laughs> but alas. I think if it just was like you can't monetize the video, I would totally do it. But I think that's going to be one of those songs that's like, no, people just can't watch your video. <laughs> okay, you'll just have to imagine it in the background. I'm sorry, folks. I'll try to find an equally good song. Okay, now that I know that there's two paths and at least one of them you can take with an outside drift vehicle, apart from the jump being like you have to trick to get across, the rest of this course is actually pretty good. Love the name. The flops are organically put into it. It's like a cool, interesting mix of like a crazy swamp, flomp ruins, as well as the DK Jungle 3DS. As, and a little bit of Luigi's Mansion in there too, like at this part. This is a good one. I like Flop Swamp. Again, just fix that one gap. Make the bridge extend a little bit farther out. <laughs> so that way you happen to... No. Come on. No, I cannot lose the Waluigi. I raced so freaking well. Good. Good. Zip, zip, Mario. Zip, zips to first. Oh, yeah. Mario time. All right, there we go. That's a pretty solid start to the, uh... I can't even remember what this cup was. It's a pretty solid... Oh, Boomerang Cup. Pretty solid start to the Boomerang Cup. 
I can't wait to see what lies in store for more. Marble Towers, this is, oh my gosh. Oh, dude, it's like one of those like toy uh, structures that you drop a marble and it rolls down and like the cool, oh, I love those. I was gonna say I loved past tense, but I still love those. Those are great. Oh, this is, okay, I'm excited. This could be a really awesome course. Oh, and that mini-map, too. All right, I'm so pumped. Not sure why it decided Maple Treeway was the song. Maybe I'll pump in my own music for this as well, because I don't think Maple Treeway really... Oh, my gosh! You touched rope! You got launched to the top of the planet. Sure, that makes sense. Okay. That was, uh... Oh my god. Oh, dude. Oh my gosh. Okay. Even if it's not that great to race on, I at least appreciate the sheer effort they're going to the with the theming on this map. So, I really do appreciate that. Surely there's a mushroom only shortcut on this map somewhere. Hi, Bowser. I don't like how this course keeps sucking me into the half pipes, though. Like, that's not okay. Oh my gosh, they even have, like, a marble rolling! That's so cool. Okay, even if... I need to race a couple more laps to decide if I like racing on this track. But at the very least, as far as theming goes, this is S tier. <laughs> Still don't know why the rope ladder just like rockets us up to the top, but I mean, I guess you, I guess you gotta have a DK cannon somehow. I will say it's kind of hard to get power ups on this course, though. It doesn't seem to be that many, and most of them are on the half pipes, which are um, wonky, to say the least. Oh my gosh. See, what did I tell you guys about wonky freaking half pipes? Why? How did I get this far behind? Gold bill? Nope, gold mushroom. This seems like it would be a great track if you were in an inside drift bike. But if you're in an outside drift vehicle, oh well. I guess you might be able to have fun, maybe. Those are the vibes I'm getting from this track. I like the marbles that are rolling around here. That's that's a cool touch. <laughs> they're also making chain chomp noises. I know, it's because they, they're just a tech retextured chain chomp. Which is why. Come on, everybody's taking the power-ups. Honestly, those, my two biggest complaints of this map, one, too many half pipes, two, the power up, not enough power ups. Really? Can you cut a guy a break? Like, crying out loud. I haven't even been a jerk on this map. Why did that act like a wall? That was weird. Oh, don't worry, guys. I have the blooper here to save the day. And I only say that somewhat ironically, because the CPUs, for some reason, have a hard time navigating with the blooper. Oh. I'll take third place. I will take third place. After a, after a race like that, I will take third place happily. Wow. All right, like I said, S-tier track when it comes to the theming. When it comes to the actual driving, I'd give it like a C. It needs some improvements, but honestly, a lot of them don't require like serious changes, just like rearranging the power-ups and uh, maybe limiting some of the half pipes. I think that would make the track like phenomenal. All right, Sandstone Cliffs. Oh, this looks like a boss course. I like it already. Unique theming. We haven't really seen unique theming all that much. 
a lot of them is just like, it's, it's Delfino Plaza, but it's different. This one, it's like, oh no, you've got these giant sandstone columns. Like, they remind me of something you'd see architecture-wise in the real world, which is pretty awesome. Mushroom Gorge music again. Why was there a bullet bill in like the first 10 seconds of the level? <laughs> Mario and Peach are definitely breaking up after that one. <laughs> Sorry, Peachy! I know you took like an hour to beat that one course quite literally, but <laughs> Mario got the win! <laughs> Oh no, I dropped it off a cliff. That's okay. Okay, I got worried about the Mushroom Gorge music, but no, this is, oh, this is a phenomenal course. I love this a lot. No it's no bouncy mushrooms. It looks great. It drives great. It's unique. It's not overly complicated. This is just an awesomely made track. I love it. It's so interesting seeing the mix of custom tracks that are in the game. Like, on the one hand, like, there are, honestly, long term, there were remarkably few courses in CTGP that were custom tracks that were just hot garbage. The main one was Mushroom Peaks, which I contend should never be brought back to CTGP again. And I certainly think I'm not alone in that regard. And there were a couple others, like, <laughs> the first... Molten Magma Melee was also pretty bad. So was that one, like, warp pipe course that was in the same cup as Molten Magma Melee. <laughs> Can't remember the name. And I think, like, King's Labyrinth is the other one, which is like, eh, yeah, that's not very good. But most of the tracks at least had some redeeming qualities to them. Even if a lot of them were just like, oh, it's simple, and there's not a lot to it, I'm like, that's still fine. Like, obviously, if there are better tracks out there, like Shy Guy Lumber Company, then sure, that should get the higher spot. But at the very least, I'd much rather have, like, a Toad Circuit over Mushroom Peaks. And I don't think that's a particularly controversial thing to say. Yeehaw! Mario will get you next time. What just happened there? Are you kidding me? Is this actually still gonna somehow work out? Okay, not quite. Well, that was... You know what? Even if I hadn't fallen off randomly at that ramp, I still would've been hit by the blue shell and probably would've lost anyways, so... Still sucks, but that was a really good course. I don't really know what happened at the ramp part. I think maybe I boosted in the ramp into the support beam and knocked me back and then knocked me back out, but, like, it didn't give me enough momentum to get across. That was very weird. But that was a really, really good track. Phenomenal. Top-tier track right there. Really, really fun. And now Koopa Shell Pipeland. Oh, great! It's Koopa Cape, but bigger. Wait a second, haven't we already played on this one? Okay, I have definitely played on this track. Maybe maybe not in these, maybe not on my videos, but I've played this multiplayer at least. It's basically like a mix of Piranha Plant Slide and Koopa Cape. And it's pretty big. It's not bad. But my gosh, I'm so sick of hearing Koopa Cape and freaking uh, Mushroom Gorge music. Like there are other, there is other music in the game. Like nobody used the Koopa Beach music. Peach Gardens was a rare song that was rarely ever used. Toad's Factory was only used, I think, on like two courses. Which is a crime, as that's like literally the best song in the game. Coconut Mall! Was that was Coconut Mall used for like any tracks? Or were they like, it's too iconic, we can't use it on Yes you can.
I'm pretty sure you need a mushroom to go down the middle. Oh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, these Koopas also run around, and they're crazy. Hey, Waluigi. What vehicle are you on? Oh, he's on the Flame Runner. No wonder he's doing so well. <laughs> oh, yeah! Waluigi slip on the banana peel. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, in this vehicle, sometimes you just gotta know when you want to drift and when you want to just do a normal turn. Or if you want to do one into the other. Just realized I have double fake power up. I don't think so. Can you just jump over here? Oh, you can. Never mind. So only go on the half pipes if you actually want the power ups up there. You know what? Not a bad spot to get hit by a blue shell in. Getting hit by a blue shell when you're right on a boost panel, that's actually pretty good. If you have to get hit by a boost panel. Or a, by a blue shell. Bowser, are you on the flame runner as well? You try hard. No, I think he's on the shooting star. Oh, he is on the shooting star. You know what? You go, Bowser. You show them that low tiers can still be good. Which is what I'm doing on Zipster. Uh-oh. Mario forgot you need the uh, boost of some kind to go through there. <laughs> Bowser slipped on my banana peel somehow. Don't really agree with that, but alright. If it works out in my favor, I guess I won't question it. Okay, this course is actually pretty awesome. This is what Koopa Cape could have been. I'm gonna grow in time to- yeah, okay, good. If I'm shrunk, I'm not super confident I could take the middle ramp. <laughs> Oh my gosh, how did I get this breakaway? I'm telling you guys, Zip Zip is overpowered. No, not really. Zip Zip is not overpowered, but it is very underrated and underappreciated. Okay, that was a pretty fantastic cup, actually. The tracks there were pretty great. And I, there was something I loved about all of them, so that, that was fantastic. Obviously, every track has its problems, except Coconut Mall, which is flawless, and DK Mountain. But there we go, first to place. Mario, you get fi only 52 points. Rank D! Well, you know what? I got rank triple star in terms of the amount of fun I had in that circuit. So there. Okay, folks, just one circuit left, and we're about to play it now. All right, folks, final circuit final CTGP circuit and it is Mario Kart Wii so I have to go with the ultimate <laughs> I wanted to be funky phantom like that cartoon show but funky flame runner I mean come on it's the perfect way to finish it it is Mario Kart Wii after I mean funky bike Wii finally final cup I don't, is this the rainbow Yoshi cup Yoshi pinata cup I think it's the Yoshi pinata cup we've got flying kingdom lunar lights gamecube rainbow road and snes rainbow road what? You're finishing CTGP with SNES Rainbow Road? Boo! What the? That's like literally one of the worst Rainbow Roads. It's not as bad as Wii Rainbow Road, but it's still pretty bad. All right, well, maybe maybe the physics will be better. Maybe you got to glow up. Anyways, we'll enjoy the first tracks. Flying Kingdom. Wow. That's a background. All right. It looks gorgeous. But does it play as good as it looks? We'll have to see. Oh my gosh, Waluigi's in the jet setter. You fool, this is Funky Bike Wii, now with Funky Mode.
That's made of ice. Oh, no. If every if every track on this cup is going to have the Rainbow Road music, I'm pumping it. track is this? Also, like, my D-pad's just not working. It's not letting me trick. Oh my god. This course is absolutely nuts. It also just doesn't make sense. Oh my gosh. I'm not used to inside drift vehicles. <laughs> I'm so used to being in the zip zip from the last circuit that I'm like, I don't know how to use the flame runner. There we go, okay. No nuts! Again, like the visuals on this course are phenomenal. The actual like shape of the track and like racing on it not that fun but this is also lap one of two so maybe second lap i'll have better luck wow like every cpu in the game fell at that part i think <laughs> yeah fuck back we I was not expecting random ice physics at that part, so... Okay, you know, that's just plain rude. You know, this track couldn't decide which track to pay homage to, so they're just like, everything. Let's make it everything. Coop Cape, Rainbow Road, Bowser Castle, all of it. And as a result, it's kind of lost an identity. It's just like, you're racing on random stuff. Oh, there's boulders from DK Mountain. There's the shrinking shells from Coop Cape. It's got Rainbow Road music. But there's also, like, lava spouts from Rumble Volcano. I like the actual, like, city part, though. Like the building that we're racing on. Like, that's actually cool. Also, this is one of those courses I'm pretty sure if you weren't in an inside drift bike, uh, some of these turns would be effectively impossible. Even the CPUs are having a hard time on this one. Alright, I mean, that's at least memorable. It's quite a spectacle of a course. This one also reminded me of the Cliff of Pain from Mario 74 Extreme Edition. I like the look of the building. I like the look of the track. I just, it, it felt like I was playing in a hodgepodge of stuff with no real cohesive theme. And some of those turns were kind of unfair. Otherwise though, not a bad start. Let's hope the remaining, okay, the next track, I think, which is the next track? I couldn't remember. Lunar Lights, this is the final custom track. The other two are retros, so... Come on. Go out with a Bane custom tracks. This one looks really cool. Again, I like the Starbit theme. It looks like Christmas ornaments. This could be a really, really great course. Just please... Not Mushroom Gorge. Doesn't look like Mushroom Gorge. Good. Literally every single... Every single cup, or every single race in this cup is gonna have the freaking Wii Rainbow Road music. Yeah, I'm pumping in my own music in enemy. We really didn't need four Rainbow Roads to finish CTVP. I don't know if that's a pure coincidence they all ended up in this cup, but it definitely feels like it's deliberate. What? How? I literally had a shell for protection. Alright, this is a fairly simple track for a rainbow road.
The road is on fire. Repeat, the road is on fire. Outside, not inside your vehicles. It can also be hard to separate the off road from the on road at that part. Oh, that's a meteor. So that's where the fire is coming from. Young fool, you think you can keep pace with a funky bike? Oh, no. Pride comes before fall. Get it, because I fell off the track. Yeah, funky car! Oh, wow, Mario won second, and he only had eight, eight points. Good for you, Mario. All right, half the tracks are down. We just have two Rainbow Roads left. GameCube Rainbow Road and then SNES Rainbow Road. Well, at least GCN Rainbow Road will probably be a lot better. Actually, GCN Rainbow Road could be great if we don't have to deal with Double Dash physics. Just depends. I like the scale of this course. Again, it just, this is a course that's pretty hard to do in Double Dash because Double Dash has radically different steering compared to every other Mario Kart game. Funky, funky, funky bike. What, did they make these turns even tighter? I, they literally made those turns tighter than they already were in Double Dash. This part might be a little bit more manageable. If... Why do I even talk in these videos? Every time I say something even slightly optimistic, they're like, oh, let's, let's make him regret saying that. Oh boy, Gold Mushroom. That's basically useless on this track. <laughs> because there's so many boost panels anyways. That's one of those times I would have appreciated an invisible wall. Wow, I actually feel like this track was easier in Double Dash. the Wii physics just don't play nice with a lot of these of old tracks. Well, I think I need something with a bit more oof than just mushrooms. Maybe, oh I don't know, uh, some kind of ammunition named William. I think that would be, oh I would love, I would just love Shotgun Blast William as my power. But I don't think I'm going to get it. Oh hey Koopa, another gold you know what? I don't even mind. I don't even mind. Because Gold Mushroom on this part is just cancerous.
What next? <laughs> I know what comes next, Funky Kong. Another freaking Rainbow Road. I'll be honest, I'm sick of the Rainbow Roads. There were way too many in CTGP. On. There we go. I'm like, you're just letting Yoshi get this massive breakaway. And then in comes the blue shell. To contradict what I say. No! No! I guess I get the shock dodge, kind of. Always look on the bright side of life. I think that's how the song goes. There is no way Baby Peach is faster than I am. I'm literally in the fastest combination in the entire game. Overall. I know the spear has higher top speed when it's wheeling, but it also is just a garbage wheel. So, I don't really count that. Okay. Well, I, you would be mine if the... No, come on! Well, that is literal blatant evidence of the CPU cheating, because I'm in, like, the best drifting vehicle in the game, and then Peach still was drifting faster than me, and just moving at a faster speed. Like, if she was using mushrooms, she couldn't have drifted that tightly, and if she was drifting that tightly, she couldn't have been going that fast. That's literally just AI rubber banding on screen. Irrefutable evidence right here. <laughs> All right, SNES Rainbow Road. Why is this over a lake? SNES Rainbow Road takes place like in outer space, like every Rainbow Road. I guess it makes it stand out a bit more, but. All right, well, this is kind of a pretty lame track to finish on. I've never liked SNES Rainbow Road. Here we go. Oh, it's like, it's like Mario Kart 8's Rainbow Road, except the flomps don't make the shockwaves. Okay, this is probably the best version of Snap's Rainbow Road. Still, though. Not saying much. Tiles on this Rainbow Road look a bit different. In Mario Kart 8, every Rainbow Road pretty much has these like 8 bit tiles, which I'm like, these don't look good. But when we just played a whole bunch of courses that all had like a smooth rainbow texture, this one standing out a bit more is nice. Playing like a real Mario Kart Wii player now. Funky Flame Runner! Yo, yo, yo! Oh my gosh, I'm about to lap people. I lapped Peach! Take that, Peach. <laughs> you deserve it for cheating on the last course. Oh, I lapped Bowser along the way, too. Oh, poor Bowser. Wow, Peach had a bad race. There we go, you robbed me of a perfect victory, but hey, we still got the gold trophy. Wow, it took over a year. <laughs> Of recording, but we finally got through every single circuit in Mario Kart Wii CTGP. And of course, all of the tracks are outdated now because it has absolutely gotten more updates which have changed out the tracks, so when you play this yourself, the circuits are gonna have different tracks in them. 
isn't that fun, but I'm guessing a huge amount of the tracks that I showed off are still in CTGP, so feel free to download it and try it out for yourself if you have the stuff. It is very fun, and I think that all in all it's a great product, even if some of the tracks have their issues. Obviously, if you created the mod, there's not much you can do about it. It's up to the track designers to make good tracks, but it's also up to you to keep good tracks in CTGP. So that, that's what I'll say. I hope anybody who uh, watched this is had fun. And if any of the track designers watched me play their tracks, I hope you... Uh, if you happen to make one of the tracks that I uh, criticized heavily, it's not a criticism about you, it's just trying to be constructive criticism about the track and ways that I can try to help you improve the tracks to make it more enjoyable for people like me. So, hope you don't take it too much to heart, and I hope that everybody has a fantastic day, and I hope you guys tune in for more videos of mine in the future, and I hope we see more great custom tracks in Mario Kart. So, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.